Hi, what's up everybody? Welcome to Rich Start Insider, a place where future millionaires come together to get ideas. Today, we're gonna talk about a topic that everybody has been waiting for, Tesla stock. If this is your first time to Rich Start Insider, we talk about stock investment, real estate investment, how to make more money and how to get rich in life. So if you want to make more money and succeed in life, make sure you subscribe our channel and turn on the post notification so that you do not miss any of our videos. If you have been following our channel for some time, uh, comment below uh, since when you have followed our channel. So I, I would really love to know you. So if you want to get free stocks and audiobooks in the description comment, you can do it after the video. Okay, today's topic is going to be about latest news of Tesla stock. What did Tesla just do and what could go wrong? You know, what does Tesla need to do to give us tremendous return? And what are the risks? And uh, comment below if there's any stock you would like me to feature. And the more requests I have on one stock, the higher chance of getting that stock uh, featured on this channel. And uh, share this video if you really love this uh, stock video. And bonus gonna be my prediction, prediction on Tesla and what I have done and what I may do in the future. There will be somewhere in this video. So Tesla shares jump 5% after reporting fake consecutive quarter profits. So this news came out on October 21st from CNBC and also another from Yahoo Finance. Tesla blows away estimates as deliveries ramp up and targeting 500,000 vehicles by year's end. And look at market watch. It, both bulls and bears agreed that it was a strong quarter for Tesla. So that's really good news on October 2nd, 22nd. So what, what happened? So Tesla reported revenue of 8.7 billion versus 8.26 billion expected. This that is a 6% difference. And Q3 adjusted on EPS in 76 cents versus 55 cents expected. That's the eight percent surprise. So if you're new to stock investing, any special EPS means uh, net income divided by outstanding shares. So that's gonna give you any special. So usually, uh, as stocks up outperform if it beats expectation continuously. So it's, so this is a great news. And CEO Elon Musk called the quarter the company's best in history and said he has never felt more optimistic about the future of Tesla than he do today. So basically, uh, Tesla also keep the goal of selling 500,000 vehicles in 2020. So basically, they need just 181,000 more vehicles in the fourth corner. So this is great news. So he looks like he's really happy. Uh, he's even having a little dance like this. So yeah, as a Tesla shareholder, you know, you should be happy about this too. This is really, really great. If you are also thinking about buying Tesla, so make sure you watch until the end of the video. Okay, that company already delivered 139,000 vehicles. Uh, so automotive revenue is about 91% of the total for the quarter. So look at this one, the margins. The margin is something that's uh, really, really good. Uh, it used to be 18.7%, now it's 23.7%. This is excluding regulatory credits. Regulatory credit is something that they receive from government for making electric vehicles. Uh, so, so they exclude, even though they exclude that uh, credit, their, their cross margin is still up, which is great. And uh, Tesla raking almost uh, 397 million, almost double the amount it made from the green credit years or over years. So which is great. So that means uh, they are delivering more, more vehicles compared to last year. So they are getting more credits. And also operating expenses, you know, once a company has higher revenues, they also have higher expenses. That's very normal, especially with the uh, Tesla company that is growing really tremendously, tremendously. They are building new factories in Austin, Texas, and Brandenburg in Germany. So which is great, you know, Austin, Texas, they already have a factory in California. They are expanding in Austin, Texas, so that they can basically distribute to the Eastern uh, USA. And all for the Europe, they have a factory in Germany. And also, Elon Musk talk about production timeline for those factories uh, for Bali and 
Austin, they expect to start delivery class from uh, next year. And, and you need to remember one the company built a factory. That fact, even though they already have the plant, they, they cannot manufacture at the full capacity. Um, they, they may, manufacturing will start up very slow at first, uh, and it, it will, then it will become much faster, much larger later. So it could take about 12 to 24 months, one to two years, to hit full capacity at these new factories. So that's the in, initially plan to start production at Berlin factory in July 2021. So look at this chart. Uh, that's the revenue automotive is ninety percent right here. So and service and other so this is basically the uh, service uh, software the customer pay uh, to upgrade the thing. So this is gonna be something that I'm gonna be watching in, in the future if the Tesla this one is is becoming larger because remember Apple um, companies Apple stores became so explosive it grew so much because of the service revenue you know they can only make so many iPhones so many iMac these are hard hard work so the, the margin is not that much but the margin is in the software and, and service so so upper service revenue has been growing exponentially every year so that's why Apple stock rose quite a lot so I'm expecting the Tesla to grow their service and other and so and also the energy generation and storage that will be solar energy so and right now California uh, new construction homes they need to come to the solar panel so this is great news for Tesla you know Tesla they have a solar business as well so uh, I expect by nationwide uh, in the next 10 years uh, we gonna have every house might have a solar or some form of renewable energy you know uh, most likely solar solar and that's that's great and remember if the if Democrats wins the house wins the presidency and also Senate uh, Mr. Joe Biden has a plan to install 50,000 charging station across the US so it doesn't matter who wins the next election but i just wish that for tesla uh they basically support this electric vehicle industry you know, have have it by having more charging station uh by making making sure that the technologies supporting the research and development for batteries you know cost it for the batteries because that's the future that's the future not so much on oil and gas oil and gas was the future in the past but now it's going to be electric and uh, renewable energy so look at the tesla reports fifth straight quarter of profits look at this they, they were making losses in in the initial years in 2010 and in 2018 so they have been making profits for five consecutive quarters so this is really great news that the demand is there so that's great consumer you know if you want to change to renewable energy it has to be cost effective and also that consumer have to buy so if it's becoming cost more cost effective cheaper and affordable more consumer are gonna buy so that the, the trend to renewable energy and solar energy is gonna be much much easier if it's too, too expensive you know consumer gonna stick with the oil and gas you know which is uh, polluting the environment so so this is great news uh you know it's good to see the tesla uh, having more profits considering the product and when asked about Cybertruck uh, Mark said that he expects some delivery by the end of 2021 and Cybertruck was introduced in November 21 2019 and Elon Musk said hey we already got hundreds of thousands of pre-orders on the vehicle so we just have to wait and see uh, so Mark, Elon Musk said very good deliveries in 2020 will be up 30 to 30 percent 40 percent from last year which is that's a great news uh implying a range from 477 to 314 so i hope that they're gonna be 514 500 because if everybody's expecting that they're gonna deliver 500,000, just imagine if it if they report the fourth quarter annual report like 600,000 per year or even 550 
that's gonna blow away the earnings. That's gonna help with the Tesla stock a lot. And CF will also uh, maintain the same uh, goal about five hundred thousand. And and also he also acknowledged that Tesla third quarter result will help help by the better than expected regulatory criticism, and uh, which is tracking to to more than double this year compared to last year. And Tesla plans to plans to spend more, more than the previous forecast of two point five billion, especially on new factories and expansion. So this is good news. The more factories we have, the more expansion they can do. The more revenues we're gonna get. So look at the Tesla stock on the one twenty second. Uh, if you manage to buy it at two thirty, comment below. I would really love to know. So that everyone was selling of Tesla after the stock split. Now it's coming back up. And market cap stay two hundred ninety five billion. So Tesla has a lot of room to grow. And uh, P/E ratio is quite high. Uh, so they need to do a little bit catch up with that. But look at Amazon. Amazon P/E ratio is, is high too. It has never been low. So so all the growth companies uh, like growth beast company, they grow really fast and people are willing to pay more for it because it's premium, premiums for that. So Tesla stock basically returned more than five times. Year to date is four hundred thirteen percent, which which means five times your money. If you invest that on January first, twenty twenty, ten thousand, you will have already made fifty thousand. So that's that's great. One year is more than seven seven times, more than six hundred seventeen percent. So yeah, this is great performance. Even in one month, it's only ten point eight seven percent. So I got Tesla position. Uh, I bought it seven hundred eighty. So this is after split price. Hundred fifty six. I bought it at hundred twelve three hundred. So the one thing you need to know about stocks is that, yeah, I bought it at seven hundred eighty. You know, hundred fifty six. But it did not matter. I knew that this stocks cannot gonna be one trillion dollar company. That's my belief. So it, because I believe that, so I I was willing to buy twelve hundred. So at the time, my bid is for four thousand five hundred for Tesla. Within the next five to ten years, so uh, the price was only twelve twelve hundred. So I bought it. So now I I bought it again. I increased the position by four four hundred twenty one. Uh, so yeah. So the returns has been really great. So bond is coming. So my opinion on Tesla. What do I think about it? So one trillion dollar tech company by twenty twenty. That's my uh predictions. So what does Tesla have to do to become one trillion company. They need to start making profits. They always did it for the past five consecutive quarters, which is good. They need to keep up with the profits. So every year the profits should be higher than the year before. You know the margins and everything, and they and they need to be included in S and P five hundred. So which is gonna be be coming soon. So that's one of the reason I believe uh, Tesla stock is gonna go higher. And they most importantly, they need to become a market leader along the world, especially in China, like Apple. You know, Apple almost everybody uses uses it, so that's why it becomes became the most very valuable company in the world. So Tesla, if Tesla becomes a leader in China and U.S., even in Europe, that's awesome. That's awesome. And solar energy Trump. So this is gonna help out. This is gonna be a tailwind. Gonna be pushing the Tesla company forward. Solar Energy Trump. I expect Solar Energy Trump to continue, uh, especially if Democrats win the next presidency. So they gonna be supporting renewable energy quite a lot, tremendously, in terms of um, giving uh, research and innovation, investment in research and innovations, and also having so much, so many charging station across the U.S. So which is great, and the battery. So Tesla is gonna be continue to uh improve battery battery uh efficiency and also battery reduce the battery cost. So that's gonna help out a lot. Battery is um basically the main part of the cost of the buying an electric vehicle. So if they are if they manage to reduce the battery cost, so the Tesla model is gonna become cheaper. So everyone is gonna buy. So just think about it. You have two two vehicles. Uh, one is a 
electric vehicle, you, you don't have to charge all the time, and you know, um, there's no polluting. The other one is uh, wire uh, based on the gas, so you have to fill up the gas all the time, and, and you know, and it's not efficient, polluting the environment. Which one will you choose? You will, you will rather choose Tesla because Tesla is a brand name, brand name for that as well. And here, also software. They, they have the software, the customer can update the software you know, by buying it, by purchasing 2,000 you know, different prices to update the car to make it faster, which is great, which is great. So uh, I like to see the software set increasing. They, they might probably have a more touch screen apps later uh, in a tester. And inflation, you know, inflation is gonna, gonna come out again because of Federal Reserve has been printing money so much so it's better to be in stocks that stocks because people don't want to keep rich people millionaires billionaires they don't want to keep their cash so where would they put their money either real estate or stocks market stock markets will be the easiest one right? you can take on the money anytime so or gold and best precious matters that stock delivers so 367 500 cars in 2019 and if they manage to uh, sell 500,000 cars is going to be 13.6% increase. So look, everything that from what we have seen so far, Tesla is on track. And uh, but what does Tesla need to ensure to manage the risk and to make sure that it becomes one trillion dollar company by 2030? <laughs> 2030. So factory production, they need to uh make the factory. They need to pay the factory fast enough and make sure the factory is running smoothly because right now demand is so much that they cannot make as many cars as possible and they need to speed up factory production to keep up with the demand and they, uh, most importantly they need to manage regulatory risk right now they are gonna be having autonomous driving but you know lawmakers and safety uh, supervisor in US they have been watching on Tesla to make sure that the, the cars that auto autonomous capabilities meet the safety standards so so they need to manage that and also they need to be really cool with China Elon Musk uh, because China they, they have their own companies NEO China supports the um, subsidy subsidy to the NEO the governments so you know compare to their own company which is NEO and Tesla which one do you think they, they will most likely support more but you know so uh, Tesla and US and China relationships are very very important. So let's say US and China relationship gets really bad, that China is gonna burn all the American companies. That's gonna be bad for Apple. That's gonna be bad for Tesla. So uh, as a Tesla shareholder, I don't want that to happen. You know, uh, so the chance of it happening is uh is lower, lower and uh, so and uh, so as long as US gonna unite with the allies, you know that. You, UK, Germany, Canada, and Australia together to fight with China. That's going to be better strategy rather than just try to alienate all the allies, you know, allies in China. Because if US and uh, Europeans countries do not get along, which is good for China because um, US cannot do so much to China. So yeah, hopefully uh, Elon Musk is uh, going to be gonna know how to manage uh, regulatory risk in China and making sure that uh, they can expand uh, with smoothly without any obstacles so my price target stayed the same so far because I have not seen any uh, near near term uh, obstacles uh, or, or business changes uh, initiatives you know business change initiatives or I don't I don't see any big competitors coming after Tesla yet yeah, so stay uh, $900 uh, after stock split before that I, I, I set $4,500 so in 10 years so all investment have risk so you can make a lot of money or lose all money no, it's not an investment advice to buy this set this stock so do your own market research before buying or set any security so risk comes from not knowing what you're doing so make sure you know what you're doing learn and study about stock markets uh, before you invest in and success comes on knowing what you don't know more than uh, coming from what you do know so study hard uh, then you start small with investing so why 
do you need, need to invest if you want to get rich? Because if you look at this one, 1989, 1% of the uh, Americans, the richest, own only 39%. In 2016, it's only 50%. So look at it, the richest top one percent account for more than half of the household equity wealth in 2019, more than half already. So now bottom is becoming lower. You see, it's getting lower. So look at, if you look at this, this one, not everybody who's gonna invest in stock market is gonna become rich because some people do not take courses, do not study, do not learn. Uh, but every rich people invest in stock markets in one way or another. Either they own the company or they invest. So, so this is a proof. So if you want to get rich, uh, invest in stocks. Uh, so that's what the rich gets richer and richer. So you frequently ask questions on stocks. You don't need any degree or education certificate to invest. You just need to study the stock markets by subscribing this channel and and you can invest five days a week from your phone or computer or from home. So very convenient. As long as you have a phone, smartphone or computer, uh, you can trade and invest anywhere. You can start by $10 a day. Starting is better than doing nothing. If you don't want to buy Tesla stock or Amazon or Apple high price stock, there is a link down below uh, M1 Finance. You can start by $1 or $10 a day. So get free stocks. Uh, in audibles uh, by click the links below uh, in the description comment I got three links for the free stock uh, and one link for audibles so these students uh, said thank you for everything learning from you is really lucky so uh, I've been teaching this student for only one or two months so he started at 30,000 now he's making 68,000 he made within uh, 1,900 within one day and another one another student so she made 10,000 within one day and total return is 25,000. This is just for one stock, but he's, he's also investing in other stocks as well that are matching in the cost. So useful links for you in the description if you want to get free audibles and three free stocks. If you want to become a realtor as a part-time, you, know, you you invest your time or suddenly suddenly become a realtor, sell houses. And if you make, if you sell 300,000 houses, you could potentially get 9,000 because usually commission is about 3%. So use that 9,000 to invest in stock market. So if you want to get a license, click the link below as well. You can get a uh, study for the real estate license as well. Uh, the best credit cards, the links are below. Everything is below the in the YouTube description. If you're watching on Facebook, it could be in comment or description. So I prefer uh, YouTube uh, to Facebook because Facebook sometimes they uh, they made a mistake they delete the videos so if you want to uh, spend so much money on $30, $40 on your cell phone plan you are pay too much you can sign up uh, with my mobile plan I use that plan anime dot data talking testing a free travel credits below as well so if you want to reach out to me the best way is comment below the YouTube videos and you can reach out to me second options um, on Instagram which shot inside the one on uh, Facebook, Richard Insider. So where are you watching this from? Comment your city, your state, and country. I would really love to know you and let me know which videos would you would like me to make. Subscribe YouTube and like and see first Facebook and follow Instagram. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.